All right, time for another draftphysics.com, debatephysics.com, also video presentation. So I'll try to make a brief argument on the subject of time dilation and just make a sensible argument why no, it can't really happen. Um, so the idea is, is that you have two things, and one of the things you're going to leave in this spot, and the other thing you're going to make a relative change in it, and it's going to have this velocity and shoot through space at, let's say, half the speed of light. And you're going to make a claim that over periods of distance it will age differently. Whether it comes back or not, who cares? You're just saying that it's going to acquire its interaction with the universe at some different rate. And therefore, if I did bring it back, it would be... Um, have aged much less. So this would be 18 years old, let's say, and this would only be nine years old when it came back, something like that. Now, the simple argument is, is that the universe has its own clock, and the clock is the cosmic background radiation, all the photons, the radiation, the light coming off all those stars, and it's in all kinds of forms, all the way from radio wave to cosmic, and all of that can't change. So as you're traveling, you're going to interact with exactly the same amount. Now, the simple truth is you're going to have more hitting you in the direction you're going, you know, opposing that direction. <laughs> so what you're going to basically do is be blue shifting, okay, everything coming towards you, and red shifting anything coming, going the same way you were going. So everything following you in terms of a piece of radiation coming from an angle, okay, that is behind you, and everything in the cone ahead of you. So, so everything ahead of you is blue shifted, everything behind you is red shifted, but it exactly ends up being the same amount in total. You can't change the total interaction. You're just saying that I'm going to make the hot things hotter and the cold things colder, okay? <laughs> it's going to end up being the same temperature in the end. Um, and so you're getting hit by that clock. It's essentially a clock. You're getting hit by hunks of radiation and a certain amount of them per minute. And that's a fact. So the outside of the spaceship certainly is going to know it's not time dilating in the sense that it's the clock. The same amount of radiation is going to be hitting it. It's just that more hits it in the front than in the back. But so what? It's the same amount same number of ticks if I was to count it. So if you had a little tiny photo detector and you just counted the photons, you're not going to count any num different number of photons. <laughs> now obviously for a human being, uh, blue shifting means you're going to end up with a bunch of ionizing radiation that's going to give you cancer or something like that. But let's just say it can't really change how you're going to age. So pretending that being inside your steel bubble um, that somehow you've defeated uh, the clock that's right outside hitting the surface of the spaceship, you really can't defeat that clock. And so, you know, you can't be aging slower because you're in exactly the same universe you were in before with the same amount of radiation flying around, and all you've done is change a little bit in the sense of your red shifting one frequency and blue shifting the other frequency. That's not going to make you age differently. Now this all comes down to cesium clocks <laughs> and this, the simple argument is the only test we've done on them are gravitational tests. So gravity changes the game because gravity does create an uneven amount of what you could call radiation around a gravitational body. It gets denser the closer you are to it and it gets thinner the further away you go. So it's a different amount. So if you could argue that gravity was being created by something like photons, the argument would be the closer you are to the gravitational body, the more photons you're getting hit by. So the reason why atomic clocks, cesium clocks, uh, record time differently in different locations in a gravitational field is because they're getting hit by a different amount of radiation. <laughs> That's just the simple truth. A different amount of radiation is interacting with them, causing them to not tell time the same way because they're in a universe that has more radiation in it. Plain and simple. Close to the planet, more radiation. Further away from the planet, less radiation. 
just an absolute fact if uh, you understand that the force of gravity is made out of something, not nothing. Um, so anyway, it's just a simple argument that you really can't escape the universe's clock. Its clock is all of this background radiation, all of this stuff moving the speed of light that's flying through the universe. That clock is the same wherever you go. And the only thing you can change is its density around material objects. It gets denser. Okay. And so you will be in a, in a condition where you're getting hit by more of it the closer you are to a material body. Something making, causing the effect of gravity. Absorbing, essentially. Again, gravity is being caused by the material body absorbing radiation and um, creating a deficit. And uh, eh, the radiation flows into the deficit, essentially. I think that's enough of an argument. I'm just saying it is a real clock. You, you know, to pretend that you're going to start doing all this slowing down while the universe is still bombarding you at exactly the same amount of energy is bombarding you, same number of phone calls are going through you, all the same number of everything is going through you, and somehow you're going to do this. I'm going to change entirely while you're in the same universe that you were in before with the same activity. Seems pretty, um, seems a stretch, let's just say, <laughs> okay. So I see there's no good reason to believe, and uh, there's very good reason to understand why a cesium clock would be affected by being in denser gravity. Um, perfectly reasonable, if you understand gravity to be an actual force. Okay, so enough of the video. Till the next time and such.